Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Make sure you subscribe when it's your first time watching this video and make sure you like and comment. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to uh, make a donut. Uh, this is the flour, this is the flour, but right now we just took it out of the, uh, the refrigerator. So we're gonna wait until a couple of minutes so that the ice can move of the flour so we can be able to show you how to roll it. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys. As you can see right now, so I just I just take it out of the part, the the bag. This is the flour. You can get it from Kroger, as you can see right here. It's in the supermarket. It's already been mixed. Don't worry about mixing it. All you have to do, you just have to wait until it defreeze because it's uh it was in uh, the refrigerator, so it, it have a lot of ice on it. So we have to wait until it defreeze. And then after that, we're going to cut, we're going to cut it into seven pieces. You know, we're going to show you the steps, how to do it. After it, after we, uh, it defreeze, we're going to cut it into seven pieces. Some people do like six, but sometimes we do, we do seven. It depends how you want it big or small. So we need it like, uh, if you need it more bigger, you can do it like maybe six or five, but most of the time we do it like six or seven. So, if you want to, uh, you can cut it one, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven. You know, like it just depends how you do it. So that's what I just said. Like, you can do it six or you do it seven. So after when uh, it defreeze, we're going to cut it into seven pieces, seven pieces. And then we're going to roll it for you. And then you're going to see how we're going to roll it. And then after when we're done rolling it, we're going to show you when it's done like time to fry it in the this oil. is how it's going to be like when uh when it's deep freeze you see it's going to be this is how it's going to be it's going to be so weak like just like a slime that's how it's going to be like it's going to be like a slime as you can see right here it's already deep freeze so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut cut it into the amount of pieces well that we need because we're gonna make it our seven pieces. So it's seven, we're gonna cut it into so seven So the pieces. first thing you have to do is you have to take your knife. You take your knife, as you can see the knife. This is the knife right here. This is the knife. This is the knife right here. What you have to do, you have to cut it like one, like two, three, four, five and six seven out of the end so basically this is how we're gonna do it you cut one you cut two three four and that's how you're gonna be doing it Don't mind me doing this with my one hand, you can do it with your two hands. You can hold it with your, your other hands and then cut it. That's it, it's already cut. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, uh, the All powder. All right guys, after you done cutting it, this is the flour, I mean, this is the powder. You're gonna spill on it and you're gonna spill some on the, uh, the table because you about to roll it. You know, you about to, you about to roll it so it can't stick on the, uh, it can't get stuck on the uh, table. So the powder gonna make it roll smoothly. So, so what you're gonna do is the first thing. This is this powder. You can get it from Kroger, Walmart. Yes, places like that. You can go and get it from there. So what the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna spill some where you're gonna be rolling it. So basically, I'm gonna be rolling it right here. So I just gonna spill a little. It's not a lot. You just gonna just a little. You're gonna spill on the uh, on the table. And after you don't spill it on the table like that, and then you create a space that when you roll it, after you don't roll it, you put you you you're trying to put it in order. So this space is gonna be when I don't rolling, I just pack that right here, so it can be able to uh, rise. You're gonna give it time to rise before you start to fry it. So now we about to roll it. All right, guys. As you can see right here, guys. I just I just take the first one. This is the first one as we, we have many of it. But we just want to show you guys how you're gonna do it. 
you take the first one, the first thing you do, you're gonna roll it like this and make it long like this, and then next thing you do, put it on the on the table, on top the uh the the powder that you spill on the table, and then you're gonna roll it like this. You're gonna be rolling it. Make sure until it roll properly, you're gonna roll it, roll it, keep rolling it, and then when you roll it, you make sure it's smooth. And then when it's smooth, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna cross it like this. You crossing it like a snake, you know, like a spiral. And then you do it like two or three times. And then when you reach here, you squeeze the hand together so both of them can stick together. And then when you're done doing that, you just lay on the floor like this. You see that one? Then you take the next one, the next one, and then you do it like this. The same thing, you're gonna switch it and create a little, make it look, look a little bit longer. And then you squeeze it. As you roll in it, you squeeze you're in your hands, your hands on, on it bit by bit. A li little by little. You, you're not squeezing on it so hard. Just a little bit, like smoke way. You're doing it smoke way. All right, guys. This is how this is how it looks like when you don't when you don't cutting it and then rolling it. Uh, now it's already rise because you have after you don't rolling it, you have to wait for a little bit so it can be able to rise so that when you fry it can fry better. So this is how it's gonna be like after we don't we don't rolling it. You see how we, how we roll this? It's a lot of it. So when you don't rolling it, this is how it's gonna be like you're gonna give it extra minutes so it can be able to uh, rise, so the flour can rise, it can be able to get soft and thicker, that when, you, when it's done, like you give it a couple of minutes, like, like maybe 10, 10 to 15 minutes, when it's done rising, and then you can put it in the pot to fry it. And guys, here is the oil. You have the vegetable oil in the pot on the stove. So what you're gonna do, like most often, you don't have to wait for the oil to get hot before you put the, uh, uh, the donut in the in the oil. Now we put in donut in the oil, so you don't have to wait for the oil to get hard, because sometimes when you're doing this, the oil is gonna uh, flash on your face. You don't want that. It's it's risky when the oil is hot and you're doing that. So you, what you have to do first, you have to put put the uh, the donut in the oil, and then it's gonna be in the oil, and then the oil is gonna get hard and fry it. So guys, we're gonna show you when it's uh when it's already done frying. So that's it. That's what we do. As you can see, we put in the oil. I mean the uh, the donut in the oil, and then it's gonna fry. And after frying, and then guys, it's gonna turn brown. The skin is gonna get brown. You, it's not gonna be burned, but we're gonna it's gonna turn brown. As you see, it getting brown in the oil. Make sure you take it out of the oil before you uh burn burn the donuts. So that's it. So you're gonna pour more. As you can see, we keep putting more because you still got a lot of space in there and you got to create a little spaces, but at least you have to make it up like this. Just a little spaces should be between it so it can be able to rise because it's going to get bigger than, than the actual size you see. It's going to get bigger than this. So as you can see right now, we have to wait for a little bit so the oil can get hard and then you'll be able to fry it. So guys, it's frying right now, as you can see right here. So all you have to do, like, uh, keep turning it around, like flipping it, because now we just flip it. We just flip it around. So the uh, the top, we just turn the top to the bottom, so the top can be able to fry too. So you, all you have to do, just flip it. Keep flipping it, so it can fry better. All right, guys, as you can see right now, this is how it's gonna be like when it's done frying, as you can see in the part. This is how it's gonna be like. It's already done. Oh my God, it look good, delicious. This is how it's gonna be like. Yep. Just done frying. After you don't, after you don't frying it, this is what you do. You roll in the sugar, the brown sugar, and then we we make we we trying to make this uh, to take it to the party and stuff. 
So this is how you're gonna be like. You're gonna take it, roll it in the brown sugar, and then, as you can see right there, she rolling the brown sugar, and you got a lot of sugar oil on it. That's how you're gonna be like.